Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. This is Curse of Strahd, and we're continuing with a bit of building in uh, Velaki. Uh, there's, there's quite a few buildings to do here, so uh, we're slowly working our way through. But I did a couple of little alterations um, since the last video. So in the town square, you can see I've just added a little bit of little bit of animation uh, for these smoky chimneys um, it's not required but it just brings a little bit of life to this map um, you know whether you've got weather effects on or not if the chimneys are smoking well let's have a bit of movement so how I did that that's quite simple is I just created a tile um, I used sequencer database to select a JB2A and I went with uh, this uh, generic smoke on a loop thing, if I can get it to stay still. Slap that in there. Now it goes, the animation goes in the wrong direction. So I just rotated the entire tile by 270 degrees. So it kind of matched um, with the, the, the drawn on smoke. And then I just copied and pasted that tile. Um, so actually, while there's lots of it, it's only one animation. It's just running in lots of different places. It just brings that little bit of life to the scene. Just makes a little bit of difference, doesn't it? Which is nice. I like that. Um, and also to the uh, St. Andrew's Church, um, which we did as well, uh, the Belfry. So um, this tile here now this is the bells that are in the belfry uh, and they your characters should be able to move under it um, and I set it to be higher and it disappeared um, when I was testing it which was a bit weird um, so if I've got it at the floor height just as a floor tile your actors walk over it which is wrong um, and if I put it too high it disappeared so what I ended up doing you can probably already see it there is uh, I just set its elevation to 42. So this floor area is at 40, um, but the bells are at 42. And that might seem a bit weird to do it that way. Um, but if I drag out, uh, if I drag out Haley um, and stick her here, it's high enough to, for it to go, oh, hang on a minute, it must be above the token. So that's, it's just enough to do that. So that's all I needed to do really, uh, was just raise it up slightly, which was, lovely jubbly um, also another thing I had to do was um, for these stairs I did use the built-in levels um, uh, drawings as stairs but if you uh, keep an eye on this square here when I change levels that square there is here <laughs> it, it, it's outside on the roof um, it doesn't quite match up so using that wasn't quite the right technique. Um, it was a bit weird. This is why you test scenes. So what I did instead, if I come back down here, as I created a tile, um, I just added in a, a picture of my button background and phased it out a bit. And I've hidden it from the players so they can't see it. And on the triggers here, all I did for this was to say, actually, any token that enters this trigger, it's going to teleport them to the next tile and it's going to change the elevation of the token so remember this is not 10 foot 20 foot 30 foot for my floors here it's 40 foot for the next uh, for the next level so the triggering token gets moved up to 40 feet and gets teleported to the next token which if you hadn't guessed is so that's where the location of the bottom stairs are this is the second token um, that it teleports to so right on those stairs and for this one i did use tagger as well and for this one i basically did the same so set elevation of the token when they enter this set it back to zero which will drop them down down to this level and then teleport to that trigger it to the uh, the token here so they again they just move back and forward correctly if i chuck Haley out you'll see as she walks around i've got to sort this roof out um there we go teleports her up here and puts her on the grid it's just unfortunately that this doesn't align with the grid how i'd like it the bottom does the top doesn't but that's fine it dumps her up here so that's all working without a drama so that's just a couple of little changes i made 
I do need to fix that little roof issue. It's not a big deal. It still disappears when I walk under it. Um, but obviously I would like it to disappear um, anyway when I'm on that top floor. I'll sort that. But that's not what we're here to do. Uh, we need to do the next scene in our list here. So first of all, let's go to configure. And we're doing uh, milio, milli, <laughs> milli vote. <laughs> do you know what? I practiced saying it so many times before I started recording. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> You can't make me. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so we're going to go to Curtis Drad. Make sure, again, I'm making sure that I'm putting my scenes in the right place. I want to go to Valaki and put all of mine in here. And then I want to choose not one of my characters. I've been generating some extra uh, NPC tokens and stuff, which is why it's defaulting to this folder. I want to go to my Curtis Drad. I want to go to my scenes. I want to go to my. Uh, Velaki, and then I just to try to organize myself downloaded all the maps um, and then put them in the right place now I couldn't find a specific map for this location which is a bit odd because Aeon Bar has got everything covered but I couldn't find one for this one but that's okay we're using this hovel uh, because it doesn't matter hovel's a hovel hovel it's supposed to be a poor house it will do um, I want to make sure that grid is nice and visible when I put this on um, lighting, token vision, yes, fog exploration, uh, global illumination, I do want on. Um, so when enabled, levels will not take control of light visibility. Um, this option should be disabled in scenes that make use of multiple levels. So I'm going to turn that off. And here we are. Uh, and we can see we've got our grid on, which is probably, just as we've with the others, twice the size it needs to be. You know, a 10 foot wide doorway on a hovel, that makes no sense. So I'm going to get this right first time this time. <laughs> I'm going to scale it the correct direction. Hooray! Um, so, of course, we've got the door part way through one, but the walls are all on the grid. So that's no problem at all before I do the walls and I've made this mistake more than once before I do the walls I need to put the levels in so this is going to be hang on a minute I don't need two levels so level this level is going to be um, the ground floor and that is from 0 to 10 I actually don't need that one at all because um, when I go to my uh, tile browser, which is slowly taking a long time to load up because uh, I've just got so much going on at the moment, I need to, this is the correct place I want it, isn't it? Yep, it's in Velaki, that's fine. I want to get my roof out. And then what I do want to do is make sure I've got roof view placement selected there so when i drag this out it's going to go on as a roof so i can close that now so it's not a different level it's just it's just a roof uh, let's quickly chuck a token down and we should see that that roof does indeed disappear when we move under it uh, didn't reappear yet oh yeah there we go yes it did that's fine. See, we've got another one of these little smoky chimneys. So um, that's a good time to go and it's disappearing because of my mouse. Um, that's a good time to go and, uh, and grab that little animation again, isn't it? We can do that. Um, ooh. Or do I? Because I don't want that. Let's not. Let's not worry about it because I'm not really going to see that at all. <laughs> Thinking on the fly. Let's turn that roof off again. Um, and come back to here uh, we just need to wall this one up uh, nice and easy this is a very simple little map even I can't get this wrong can I <laughs> famous last words uh, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that off because actually we're not snapping too much here very simple this little hovel I'll just, we'll put it in there as a node There you go, wall's done. There's no windows in this. I mean, it's a hovel. There are no windows, but I can slap that door in. 
there we go and these are curtains now somebody said about um, the way to do curtains was basically to make them like a um, where they block vision block light but don't block movement which it makes perfect sense doesn't it um, so invisible walls uh, blocks movement so that's not the one we want ethereal walls blocks sight and hearing um, so that's kind of what we want for this which is fine and does it also block light uh, so not movement doesn't block sound but it does block light and sight so yeah that's what we want for those curtains so characters can just walk through them that's not a drama um, and if they decide to rip the curtains down or something silly like that we can just come in and delete the wall um, what else do we need to do we need to do a region we need to put do a region we want to make sure that even if we're not planning to use weather we want to make sure that we have that option for it so creating my region we're going to edit that and just call it interior it doesn't matter what you call it call it anything you blink more like uh, and the shapes for that we're going to do select uh, select our walls bosh straight away job done um, have to actually tell it what to do with that area don't I <laughs> uh, and our behaviors we want on this is we can do a just darkness level I do like to use that um, just to bring down especially this as a hovel just bring it down a little bit darker inside uh, and I want to uh, suppress weather okay so definitely want to do that lovely jubbly and again we can select a token and it should be I'll go open the door because now Right, that's a slight problem. I'm going to have to misalign my grid, I think, because uh, otherwise I can't get in and out that door. <laughs> so I need to align the doors rather than the grid. Um, let's do that. <laughs> right. So uh, how many pixels did I say? I said it was... 200 pixels per square so offset the background by 100 pixels should do exactly what I want um, and then uh, let's just come back in and oh I misaligned on my roof now aren't I bring my levels back up thank you right so now we've got the door lined up even if the, the rest of it isn't so that's not a problem um, I think our roof was our roof is now misaligned but that's okay we can easily realign our roof uh, and actually I need to lock that to stop that doing it again and then take the roof off okay so what about our walls how badly has that done our walls ah it's moved everything but that's easy because we can just select the whole lot pop it over job done lovely let's try that again we can now move into go through the curtains not a problem now it's not that much darker inside is it so maybe we want to fiddle with that region again um, that's now in the wrong place <laughs> that's okay because what we can do is we can uh, are we sure yeah we can and then we can just reselect that Bosh that's the region thank you very much we now got our region back I've deleted it again just check it kept our behaviors um, but I do want to edit this and I want to see if I can make that a bit darker it's because I've got an override whereas I should have that on darken I believe so let's check that so yeah it's definitely a bit darker than outside but not by much okay so um, what have we got inside here that we need to do we've got some lamps so we need to do that don't we and again the easiest way for me to do lamps is to go oh hang on a minute rather than me working out all the sizes and everything else again I can just come and grab one of these and go uh, I want a wall lamp I'm just going to hold down control press C to copy it and then I can pop back over to my active scene so it just can be much quicker than no, uh, than just rebuilding the light from scratch lights thank you <laughs> so professional <laughs> that's, and again just holding down shift I can drag those to be a bit more precise where I want them uh, no don't do that Muppet uh, 
Any more light? Any lights in here? We've got lights out here. We've only got uh, we've got candles there. Now, again, for consistency, you will notice that I use different lights for different things. So, um, again, down to the ground floor. Thank you very much. Um, so, my candles are different from my wall lamps in most instances. Um, I either use a slightly different colour or, or something like that. So I'm going to grab that one, pop back over there. Uh, and again, it's just about giving a different feel, isn't it? So let's light. Thank you. There we go. So we can slap that candle out there. There is another candle over there by the looks of it, just on the table. So we can pop that out just in case. So if we go back to this view. If that, if that candle's alight, we've got these candles alight. We've got these alight. Uh, I don't think I've missed... After the two outside. <laughs> We're going to do those as well. Um, again, I can just hover over one, control C, control V, shift that back a bit. And as we said before, nobody goes around leaving all of their lights on and candles on all the time. Uh, this is not a rich person's house that they can't afford to just burn candles 24 7. And of course, we don't know what time of the day. The party will uh, will come to this property. Now it's probably going to be during the daytime, and we won't need the lights on. If they come in the evening, it's fine. We're just going to darken the scene, and we're going to slap some lights on the ones that make sense. And again, if it's like nighttime, nighttime, and everybody's kind of in for the evening, they're not going to have those on. You know, you're going to turn those lamps off when you're not planning to leave the house anymore. And in this instance, you probably aren't going to have these open. Um, uh, these on you're probably going to have like one candle there that's it that's probably all you're going to use all right so um this scene is pretty much done isn't it isn't it uh would my <laughs> would my quality assurance officer please drop in the comments and tell me what i missed thank you very much <laughs> need to be on the payroll if there was a payroll there's no payroll <laughs> oh dear um right i uh, need to get rid of this grid of course so uh, just so you know uh, i normally go over here and right click and go to configuration but those of you who are not familiar with it you can do it just from up here as well uh, just make life a bit easier giving you some options there we go that looks quite nice fine lovely jubbly right the next one to do then and, and as you know, because if you watch these, I I often miss little bits and little details that you guys pick up in the comments and I go back and make those changes. For example, those Belfry Bells that I hadn't got quite right. And I can't remember who it was. Apologies. I'm rubbish at this. Um, just dropped in the comments like, oh yeah, if you do this, then it will fix it. And it's like, oh yeah, of course. You know, and I forget little things while I'm... My brain can... I'm a, I'm a man. Okay. <laughs> I do one thing at once. I know that's not true. Don't all shout in the comments. <laughs> but uh, when I'm trying to talk my way through it and things like that, I just forget little things like, oh yeah, I forget how to do that. Um, yeah, just uh, I can't use the fact I'm a man as an excuse. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> okay, so the stockyard. What is wrong with me? Okay, so we've got the uh, the ground here for the stockyard. We bring that in. Uh, now again, we want to put that grid on nice and bright red, easy for you guys to see. Uh, I'm going to guess that I'm going to need to change that grid. Lighting, token vision, yes, yes, don't disable light. I want to turn that off because we are going to have levels. Global illumination, I'm going to have that on as well. Uh, save changes. Go on, you can do it. Oh, what have I Hello? It's not liking that, is it? What's that about? Da, 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 da. Select this one. Ooh. What's going on there? Oh, I've got... i got a small crash. Right. Control F5. That's very, very unusual, I get that, especially in version 12. In fact, I think that might be the first time I've had it um, like lock up like that in version 12. How unexpected. 
unexpected. Right, so back into our modules, back into our oh, cursor strad, there it is, into our packs, into our uh, scenes, the lackey, um, and then let's try that again. Let's bring that in. Thank you very much. Let's do it. There we go. Right. So there we've got our scene. Tell you one thing I need to remember to do when I do this is just to uh, initial a viewpoint, just make sure that that is going to be centered. Uh, we do have levels here. Let me check how many levels we need for this. Um, so I've got my file here. So we've got the ground floor, that's an overlay. Uh, we've then got the roof, and then we've got these overlays here, warehouse overlay. So we've got the ground floor, we've got the overlay for the warehouse, so that's second floor, or sorry, first floor, <laughs> whichever way you want to do it. And then we've got roofs, so we, we don't need that much in the way of levels for this. We can go in here, we can add two in. Uh, make sure we're editing it. Thank you very much. And this is just going to be ground, which is going to be 0 to 10. And then we've got just first, which is 10 to 20. That's all we actually need, which is good. Um, but we do need to play with these overlays. So what did I say we've got? We've got the uh, stockyard ground overlay. Oh, right. So... It's done, they've, they've done this in a few different ways. I say they, it's Aeon Bar's map. They've done this in a few different ways. So we've got, let me bring that back. Uh, let's make these extra large. So this overlay here is actually this overlay for the warehouse only. Um, so if I open that up, you can see that's got the, like, the fishing boats and thing and these little wolf heads for the wall. Um, so we could just slap that on, job done. But because, so it's got this boat, it's got this wolf head, it's got this one here. So they're giving you a couple of options. You can just slap that one tile over the top. Um, but from a, uh, a heights and things point of view, we probably don't want to do that. So uh, on this, so this is the ground floor. I'm not gonna do walls until I've got my levels in. I mean, I know I've added them in. Stop editing that, thank you. Uh, I do want to bring in my first floor, so go to the tile browser. Come on, you can do it. Uh, and then I'm going to select that overlay for this one uh, and bring that out. So I just need to obviously line that up nicely and I can lock that. Okay, so that's good. We've got that one in place which is nice. Uh, while I'm here, there are a couple of overlays that I can do. So uh, just, just thinking, um, where's that boat supposed to go? If I just, just because just, just for testing purposes, uh, if, I, if I bring this in, did you do it? Come on, bring it in. Right, if I bring that in. It's, uh, yeah, right, so it's putting the, it is putting the boat in this second one here, and it's putting the wolf heads on that one over there. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to check where it thinks they should go. Um, is that boat hanging from the ceiling? Uh, yeah, I guess, it, I guess it is. Okay, so we're still on the first floor. Let's uh, select that boat and we can now bring that boat in and smack it in here. Not there, about there. <laughs> uh, and then let's lock that in place. So that is effectively an overhead tile, as in, you know, we, we're all going to walk under it. It's effectively on the first floor. Um, and then we can put these wolf heads on as well. Now, um, that was in this one here. Yeah, let's do that. Now, note that all of these are going on the first floor, so they are effectively one up, 
lovely jubbly and then we can lock that as well now what we need to do is pop the roofs on um, and we've got several buildings here to do so I need to click over here and with my roofs view placement um, and this is roofs for the uh, for the first floor so some buildings like this one are one story so I don't want to put roofs here okay so which roofs do I want? I want the warehouse roof, which is going to be for this baby over here. Okay, nice. Let's lock that in place. Um, we've also got the shed roof. Um, where else? Is anywhere else? A, nowhere else is a higher building, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll just look in at the, at the, at the things over there. <laughs> Sorry, it's so not clear. Um, okay, so I'm going to come now to the ground floor um, and do a couple more roofs. So we can do this stables roof here. Oh, it's having some issues today. I say it's having some issues. Let's face it, it's more likely me. Okay, so this is a roof that is going smack on there. Uh, again, we can lock that one so we don't accidentally move it. Uh, we've got another roof to put on for this building here, which is the house roof. Again, it's only one story. Just line that up and we can lock that in place. Uh, now, shed roofs. Um, do, 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 do. We've got them in different angles. We want to bring in this shed roof here. And we're still on the roofs, which is good. We're going to bring that in and we can dump it on there. Uh, we're going to dump it on there. And we're going to dump it on there. And then again, I'm just going to lock each of those. Just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to lock each of those so that I can't accidentally move them around. See, because you've seen me do that so many times, but I do learn slowly, very, very slowly in some instances. Uh, right, so we've got some more shed roofs to do, and again, these are all um, for these little fellas down here. There we go. Make sure I get the correct one. Pull that back a bit. Forward a bit, back a bit. Forward a bit, back a bit. Oh, I've got that one spot on. There we go. And again, we can lock all of these so I don't accidentally throw them all over the place through complete Muppetry. Okay, and then I can toggle my roofs on and off. So you'll note that toggling roofs on and off does it for all of those first story ones not for this because that's on the first floor so if I go to the first floor I can then toggle this on and off um, because I've got that extra layer there okay whoo success <laughs> oh yeah it's really it's really ground to a halt. I hope, it's, it's, I hope this recording is, is recording okay. Uh, it's very annoying when it uh, decides to throw its toys out the pram. Uh, let me just have a, uh, a quick check, make sure I haven't got anything too hideous going on. Yeah, I think I have got hideous stuff going on, which is uh, very unfortunate, but... Um, Right, I'm going to call this. Uh, I'm going to call this to a stop here and just check a couple of things, and then I'll be back with you. Right, I'm back. Where were we? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my machine's doing something a bit odd. Um, started a new job this week, and I've had to rearrange my office a bit, and something's a bit a little bit weird. And I'm a little bit concerned that the volume is going to be all over the place on this video. So, um, if this is the beginning of the video, <laughs> that's going to be a bit weird. Uh, but hopefully it's all right. I will try and uh, do what I can in edit to uh, to make sure everything's okay. Worst case, I'll just can this video, in which case I'm talking to myself, aren't I? Um, <laughs> you might not get to see any of this. All right. 
Well, let's carry on. It needs to be done regardless of whether it's being recorded. So, uh, walls. All of the walls. i tell you what I didn't do. I haven't done the grid yet, have I? I got carried away doing my levels. I've got to sort my grid out. Uh, so, let's make that nice and red as usual. I only do red because it's, you know, kind of right there. Look, it, we've got exactly the same thing. I mean, the good thing is it's all exactly the same. So, I can do that straight away. 200. There we go. Now, has that messed up my roofs? It should not have done, but it might have done. So let's check. No, that all looks good because I haven't moved that the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't moved the anything around. So, okay, good. Let's slap some walls in. Um, I'm going to be able to snap these to grid pretty much for the whole way around for these. I'm going to come back and do the doors. I promise I will come back and do the doors. Nice and easy. It's lovely when it lines conveniently to the grid. And you can just slap them out, just holding down control again. And I never quite let go of control early enough. <laughs> uh, what we got over here? There we go. Let go now. There we go. Ah, right. Now, this is not all aligned to the grid, so uh, what chunks of it are. I'll come back and do that bit in a minute. That's aligned to the grid nicely, sort of. Come on, I'm still going to need it. And I'll just move those into position properly afterwards. I'm going to come back to all the windows in a minute. <clears throat> Bit of a croaky voice. Been in a lot of meetings today, doing a lot of talking. Right, now this one's not going to uh, snap to grid because we're going in funny directions. So, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, which is fine, of course. It just won't snap to grid. I'll leave snapping on, just not... S what are you doing? Just not um, not snapping to the grid, just snapping generally. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Struggle is real. <laughs> Angled buildings. Why? Why would you do that to me? Okay, that should be fine. Um, now, we've got all this fencing around here. I'm going to decide what to do with that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I'm aware I've got another floor to do as well. So let's, um, first of all, let's put all these doors in. There's a door. There's a door. There's a door. So while there's not an awful lot happens on this map, it's a uh, it's quite a big map. I'll come back and do that in a moment. Here's the doors for this one. Now these are double doors, so I want to have two doors rather than doing it as one big one. Uh, make sure we've got the grid snap off because I want to go from there to there for that door. There to there for that door. Oh, a door's wonky. Hideous. That's going to make me twitch a lot uh, and yes now that walls won't get uh, whatever <laughs> how much difference is it going to make playing it basically zero so I need to go over myself don't I I could have snapped that one but never mind snap snap okay windows Window, 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 window. 
half window. Yeah. And now I just drag these to join. <coughs> Excuse me, blimey. Uh, to join these up. And I'm going to need a normal wall that can come down to there. Thank you very much. Normal wall, snap onto there. Snap onto there. And as we know, it's when I do the regions that I find out all the snaps that I've missed. Like that one. Or I've misaligned. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's all the way. Oh, paranoid. I know my, my QA officer is watching. <laughs> Those are all doors. That's a window. That's a door. Window, 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 window. That all looks good. That's all good. There's not much I can get wrong here, but I bet I do. <laughs> okay, that's all good. I mean, this one's actually open already. I mean, there's, there's a picture of it open. So let's have that open, okay? Unless they choose to close it. Uh, <clears throat> no windows here, but we do need to go up to the first floor and put in we can snap these <clears throat> now those doors are downstairs so i can just go all the way around like that for the interior of the building easy peasy now there's a ladder there that we're going to want to be able to teleport up there's another one over there that we're going to want to be able to move up as well uh, anything else that I before I move on to lights anything else I need to make sure I've covered on here um, this fencing around the outside what am I going to do about that am I going to make it do you know what? I'm not gonna bother it's easy to climb over it doesn't really matter it's all gonna look the same um, do I need railings along here it doesn't look like there's railings no let's let the PCs just plummet to their deaths <laughs> It's on them. Um, now, what I am going to do though with these, because we move from because we move from this tile to this tile, um, I'm going to use the monk's um, tile teleport instead. So I'm going to put it over there. Thank you. And then I'm going to move it in. All right. So this is going to be our first tile. Uh, well, were you hang on a minute. I'm on the first floor. I need to move it over there. Okay, so this is our first floor tile uh, So what we need to do is I'm going to give it an image If it allow me to See it's this access in the files. I do wonder if my hard drive is uh, is having some issues, which is very scary <laughs> uh, Let's just pretend it's not happening, right? Uh, do you know what? Now I've got to remember where I put my blinking button. Um, uh, that will, one will do. That's my um, invisible card piece. Uh, I want to give this point uh, two, one. Uh, what is this place? This is a stockyard. Stock, stockyard one. B. Okay, so this is Stockyard 1B. I'm going to copy that. It doesn't matter what you call these tags as long as they're unique. That's what matters. Um, so I'm not going to do anything with that trigger at the moment. I'm going to copy that tile. I'm going to go down to the ground floor and I'm going to pop that tile here. I'm going to edit what this is called. I'm going to make this 1A. Okay, so I've got 1A, 1B. Um, and then in the triggers, it's going to be allow all tokens, anyone, when they enter it. The actions are going to be uh, whoop, T for teleport. And we want to teleport the triggering entity. And we want to move them to the tile that is labeled, oh, yes, correct, labeled B. So that's what we want to do. So it's going to move it across. We want to snap to grid. Uh, we can pan across that's nice um, we don't need to worry about any of those things that's all good and then the next thing we want to do is to change elevation now was it called change elevation uh, do, 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 do. it's just called elevation for the triggering tile 
and I want to make it 10 because it's going up. Okay, cool. That should work fine. And then when we go up here, excuse me, um, we're going to do actions on this one. So the setup again, all tokens, anyone who enters it is going to... It doesn't matter which way round you have these two, by the way. We can do elevation first if we want to. For the triggering one, we're going to set it at zero. So it's going to go down first in this instance, but it's just, there's no there's no difference. Uh, and then we want a teleport. Uh, and we're going to teleport to the activating token. And we're going to go to 1A. Cool. Uh, we don't want random within. We want center. I just realized I didn't do that on the other one either. Okay, save that. Go down. Uh, teleport. Not random within. Center. Thank you very much. Lovely jubbly. Uh, and then, of course, we just want to give that a very quick test. Make sure it works. Good old Haley. <sighs> this is by testing. Global illumination. Thank you very much. Right, Haley, we can walk about, and if we step here, boom, there we go. We're up the top, and then we're down the bottom, and then we're up the top. Um, and that might not be perfect, but it's good enough. It will do. Okay, I mean, the only problem is, is you if you go this way and then you want to come down to the barrels, it's going to pop them up again. It's, it's not a big enough deal. Um, it does give me a little complaint about attempted movement collides with at least one floor ceiling. Um And I can walk off the edges, of course. But that's fine. That's fine. We don't need to worry about it that much. What's the chances they're going to be running around in here huge amounts of time? Uh, again, it's about making those decisions, isn't it? How bloody important is it? Um, so I'm going to copy and paste that one. And I'm going to bring it over here. Except I want this to be... I don't want this tile snapping to grid. Um, <clears throat> do 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 but I do need to change this. I'm going to call this 2A because this is on the ground. This is going to be 2A. Uh, da, 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 time scale width. Uh, 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 overhead. Don't worry about triggers. Setup. Uh, so the same setup. Um, and this is going to be teleporting it to. 2B. I know I haven't created 2B yet, but I'm going to, aren't I? Aren't I? Yes, I am. Um, that should be fine. And see, normally, what have I done? What have I done to this? What have I done? <laughs> Why does this not want to be half and half? Because normally you can. Is it because? This is saying snap to grid here. No. Normally I would be able to put the hover that over two different tiles. It doesn't want me to do it. What am I doing? See, this is one of the...